Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Man's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Uh, guys, this is a rare uh, occurrence. Uh, two reviews in two nights. Um, worked another long day today. Got home just a little bit ago, but I figured I uh, had time to get a review in. So uh, we'll make this uh, too long. We'll make, we'll make this uh, short and sweet. Uh, but this is one I've been wanting to talk about. Uh, after my review, um, my Bushmills review for number 104... Um, Julia commented and said uh, that I had to try the uh, Bushmills uh, Black Bush. So I know they have the uh, uh, the Red Bush and the Black Bush and uh, some others. Never tried this one, guys. This is going to be going into this not knowing what to expect, but uh, but I I trust uh, Julia's uh, judgment and uh, wanted to try this out. So uh, here it is, uh, another little bottle, guys. And uh, it's an Irish whiskey. Really like Irish whiskey, uh, whiskeys, guys. I just, um, you know, I, I don't see too many of them out there. Um, you know, we've tried the few that I can find. Um, Jameson, of course. Uh, Tullamore Dew. Um, Bushmills, just original. Um, Red Breast. Uh, maybe a couple others, but... Um, I really wanted to try this one, especially after after uh, Julia recommended it. So um, here it is, uh, guys. This one, Bush, Bushmills, of course, um, has been around since 1608. Um, that's when uh, that's when the original guy got the uh, licensing to uh, to distill this to make this. So. Um, I mean, that's a long time, over 400 years. That's uh, pretty good, guys, for it to uh, still be around. So, uh, let's see. Um, this one here, don't know a whole lot about it. Um, I do know that uh, it's it's got a higher um, proportion of, uh, of a malted, uh, single malt whiskey to, uh, to grain whiskey. Um, I know that it's aged for a while in, in sherry cask. I think um, it's like Spanish sherry, um, or at least uh, at least Spanish sherry um, seasoned barrels. Um, but uh, it's all the reviews I've I've read on this. Um, everything I've heard about this is all good stuff. So you know, I definitely want to try it out. Um, Bushmills. I mean, I know. I know a few people who consider Bushmills their favorite Irish whiskey, so, um, and I enjoyed, uh, that Bushmills that I, uh, that I reviewed a few reviews ago. It was really good, and, uh, supposedly this is even, uh, maybe a step up from that, so, let's check it out, and, uh, the color, guys, I mean, it's a, it's a light color, um, can't really tell by the color a lot of times, so, um, won't put uh, too much uh, into that. Let's still give him the nose. And on the nose, guys, it's uh, it's it's got a good nose. I really like this nose. Um, it's really uh, definitely very malty. Uh, really fruity too. Um, it's got some good uh, light fruit flavors in there. Definitely some. Uh, um, Definitely some of that sherry. Definitely some sherry. And uh, some floral slash like honey things going on there too. Let's take a taste. And it's got, it's got a very good, uh, whew, that's really good, uh, really nice palate there. It's only 40% uh, ABV, 80 proof, but it's a, uh, it's a big hit on the tongue there. It's uh it's got a lot of flavor, guys. A um, lot of, uh, man, um, definitely a lot of malt. Um, Definitely, uh, you get some of those sherry notes in there, uh, some honey, um, just a, man, there's something that I can't pick out in there, um, 
But it's, man, this is a really good, uh, really good whiskey, guys. Let me try this again. And it's just, it's full of flavor. Definitely some fruity, uh, fruity notes in there. I wish I could, uh, wish I could, uh, kind of put my finger on it, guys. I'm, I'm tasting something really, really good. It's really good. I'm not sure if it's, uh, from the sherry or, or what, but as much as I like the, the original Bushmills that, that I reviewed not too long ago, this one here, I want to get a big bottle of it. Uh, I want to get the full size. Um, my cabinet space is still a little bit low, guys, so bear with me for some of these uh, little bottles here. Um, but when I have the room, I definitely want to get a big bottle because this is this is good. It's got a lot of good flavor to it. Um, just give, oh man. Let's see, for a rating, I would, uh, I'd give this, I'd give this a, an 88, 88 out of 100, guys. It's, it's really, really good. I just wish I uh, could put my finger on uh, all the notes that I'm getting out of it. But it's definitely some uh, light fruit flavors, um, honey flavors. Uh, that maltiness is big. That maltiness is really big. Um, and uh, it's just, uh, it's no one trick pony, I'll tell you that. It's, um, it's, it's a multi-dimensional type of uh, type of Irish whiskey guys and I really enjoy this um, like I said uh, definitely try it out if you can uh, get a bottle of it I'm gonna get the uh, bigger bottle when I get a chance so uh, that's it for this one guys like I said we're just gonna keep it short today um, got some uh, friends coming in from out of town so I want to spend some time with them um, and uh, I'll be back soon um, I think the next one I'm gonna do is uh, it's I think I mentioned the last time it's a uh, an American whiskey but it almost profiles more like a like a Scotch, um, because of the grain involved. So um, <clears throat> there's that one, and then I'd like to do um, there's a whiskey that I'm looking for right now. So if I can find it, I'll be doing that soon. Um, and also uh, I'd like to have a something new, guys. A kind of a competition whiskey review. A um, couple of uh, bonded whiskeys that I like a lot. So I uh, look forward to doing that soon. And uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't yet, guys. Um, check me out on Facebook. And, uh, and we'll talk some whiskey. Talk to you guys soon. Till next time, cheers.